Well, folks, the Republican civil war continues to drag on with the kind of crazies versus the totally crazies. And nowhere else is this better exemplified than the feud taking place between Marjorie Taylor Greene and Dan Crenshaw. This past weekend, Dan Crenshaw goes on Fox news and he says this, what the federal government should be doing using their FEMA resources to bolster a lot of these testing sites, open up new testing sites. This is what we saw happen during the Trump administration. Simple enough, right? Dan Crenshaw's on Fox news and he says, okay, we need the government to come in and start doing something, open, open up testing sites. You have FEMA, you know, this is clearly an emergency. Let's do this. And for the record, Crenshaw's not wrong, folks. Crenshaw's not wrong. This pissed off Marjorie Taylor Greene. And in one of her final acts on Twitter before getting the axe, she said this, no, FEMA should not set up testing sites to check for Omicron sneezes, coughs, and runny noses. And we don't need FEMA in hospitals. They should hire back all the unvaccinated HCW they fired. That means healthcare workers. Stop calling yourself conservative. You're hurting our brand. He's not hurting your brand. Um, what he's doing is showing that, Hey, it's okay to act like you have a brain every now and then in the Republican party. And, and trust me, I'm not, I'm not defending Dan Crenshaw here at all, but come on, even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. And I think that's the situation we're dealing with here. But Crenshaw again is correct. The federal government does need to be doing these things. FEMA does have the authority to do these things. These are things that need to happen, especially because we have Republican controlled states that already shut down most of their testing sites so that their numbers wouldn't go up like right here in the state of Florida. So yeah, FEMA should step in, start doing these tests, of course, so we can show people one, we're going to protect you. We're going to take care of you. And two, look how bad your numbers really are when we cut through the bull crap from your Republican governor. That's, that's, you know, a side effect of that, but it's definitely warranted. Marjorie Taylor Greene is not worried that this hurts the conservative brand. She's worried because it destroys Republican talking points that COVID's no big deal. It's the sneezes. It's the sniffles. It's a cough. Tell that to 800,000 dead Americans. That's the problem, Marjorie. Hundreds of thousands of people in this country have already died. And based on what we know so far for the record, you know, in the, in the last, you know, six, seven months, whatever it is, the majority of people dying are Republicans. This has become a partisan illness. As I've said many times, I think at this point, being a Republican should be considered a comorbidity of COVID because y'all are succumbing to it at far greater rates, according to the statistics than the Democrats are. And at this point, we should be beyond this. We should not still be seeing two to 3000 deaths across the country per day. If people would get vaccinated, if they would wear the masks, if they would continue to socially distance, that death rate would drop dramatically. We would save lives, but it takes a bipartisan effort here. That's what we need. And I think at this point, that's what Dan Crenshaw really, really wants to say, but can't, you know, he can't go that far and tell people to get vaccinated. He saw what happened to Donald Trump, but Crenshaw is at least attempting to come across as a voice of reason. And as my good buddy, Cliff Schechter recently wrote on the daily beast, I talked about this when I filled in for Pacman a couple weeks ago. That's also what makes Crenshaw so incredibly scary as a Republican. Cause he does have these lucid moments where he does come across as not a totally crazy individual. Crenshaw knows when to turn it on and to turn it off. And he knows enough right now to separate himself from the Marjorie Taylor Greens and the Lauren Boberts. He is positioning himself as a rational, calm, cool Republican for a run at something bigger in the future. But let's not forget, this is the same guy who makes videos of himself trying to be some kind of superhero repelling from ceilings and all of that. Yeah, he has delusions of grandeur and He's smart enough to win a higher office in the future, which is something that cannot be said about people like Marjorie Taylor Greene.